stag my 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 stag my
just to let y'all know. That's how I roll. Yeah, man. Well, what do you think about some of these upcoming fantasy narratives in this game uh, as far as the 76ers and the Wizards are concerned? Like, we know Russell Westbrook's going to do his dirt with his possible triple-double. Um, but what do you think, even with Embiid on the reserves, let's say Embiid doesn't play, who's the best player to start off the 76ers, so you see? Uh, right now, the best player to start off the 76ers is probably be Tobias. Yep. Um, yeah, he's yeah, make call. Yeah, his working or his uh, actual uh, usage bump goes way up with his beat out. I definitely trigger him in most lineups. Yeah, and I mean, uh, Doc has a reputation for not being able to finish out series. Jay Reese, you think Doc Rivers with his coaching gets the job done in this series? Bucket or truck it, uh, Jay Reese? It's a bucket, man. He, he got to get the job done. Um, I'm telling you, man, Philly's going to win tomorrow. This this yeah. is a wrap. I do got a props versus ops for you. Uh, I don't have the numbers, but I just want to see how you feel about Russell Westbrook versus Ben Simmons. Matt, who do you think will have the better numbers tomorrow? Oh, Lordy, man. Like you're talking about a stat sheet that is going to be filled to the brim. I do think Ben Simmons, possibly the defensive player of the year, will fill out more of the later stats. But as far as numbers, I see uh, Russell possibly going with rolling 60s out there tomorrow, man. 2020 <laughs> and 20. I see him doing big things tomorrow, man. Keep an eye on Russell Westbrook. I say Russell Westbrook's the bucket. All right, Russell Westbrook is the props and uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Ben Simmons is the ops. Silly C, what do you think? What are the numbers saying? Um, so I currently have Russell sitting at about 22, 12, and 10. And I got Ben sitting at 17, 8, and 6. I don't think Ben has enough to... Plus, with Westbrook's shooting performance last game, you know that's got to change. Um, he seems to do that a lot in the playoffs, though. But in this case, Russell Westbrook's the props, Simmons the ops. Simmons is the ops. So who do you got in that one, Jay Reese? Oh, man. I'm expecting a big game from Philadelphia tomorrow, man. So, Russell Westbrook, looking like he may choke it up like he always do in playoffs. He's the ops. I'm giving it to Ben Simmons. All right. Well, what's his, I, I wonder what his over-under for turnovers will be, and I wonder where you'll lay with that. I bet you'll probably over. lay about – over. over. Whatever it is, I'm going yeah, four over. and a half. You think over. it's go five? Yeah, Russell does get rushed. Seven. Yeah, Russell does get rushed, man. You can't spell rush without rust. So we're going to go ahead and pitch it into the next game, which is another crucial game on our playoff slate for this June 2nd, which we have the Memphis Grizzlies visiting the Utah Jazz. Uh, there's a spider in the room, and I don't think they can put their hands on him, man. What do you think about Spider taking on Ja in this Utah Jazz hosting the Memphis Grizzly J. Reese? Uh, once again, we're sitting on another game with no serious price. That is because these niggas got bit by the tarantula. Ooh, the it's spider. Over. It's a spider. It's a spider. They got Utah. This is a spider. They got Utah sitting at minus nine and a half now for a playoff game. That is an extremely fat ass number. I almost feel like they go back home and they rock these fools by 20. I'm telling you again, I'm going to stand on that shit. Utah in the blowout. Man, and that's a turn game for them. So they definitely need to win this one. Utah is already leading the series. And let's see if they can do what they can do to close this one out. Um, Cody, who do you got in this one? Memphis visiting Utah. Uh, Memphis doesn't have enough on Raspin. Plan. He's been balling. He's been trying. But it's just not enough. Uh, Utah. Because there's a spider. Utah minus (laughs) nine and a half. Enough said. Yeah, no, I'm nine and a half. I'm actually going to lay with the Grizzlies with that. That's a generous point given. That's too fat for me. I'm going to trim the fat and I'm going to take Memphis uh, to win the game plus nine and a half. Um, 
I don't know if they'll win the game, but I do think uh, that Utah won't cover with that. So we're going to keep it pushing to the next game. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, my brother. Hold on. Oh, I do oh. have the numbers for this on the props versus ops. I got the boy Dylan Brooks taking on Bogdan Bogdanovich. So this is points plus assists plus rebounds. They got Dylan Brooks sitting at uh, 26 and a half. And they got the bogey dude sitting at 23 and a half. Uh, silly, let me lay that one up to you. All right, so for the uh, Bogdan by the, the, the Bonavich, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. 16, 5, 3. Um, Brooks, 16, 4, 3. Uh, with that, though, I mean, Memphis is going to – Memphis, don't get it confused. <laughs> Um, they're gonna they gonna play. They're gonna play. But I don't think he's gonna play enough. Right now the other team's just way too much. Uh I'm gonna pick Bondadovic. He's props. Yeah, I think B- Bojan might go hard, but like I told y'all earlier and what did I learn about this playoffs? Trust in the light skins. I think uh, Dylan Brooks gonna let them bangs hang. There's gonna be a drop of sweat, and that's gonna be a tear from Bogdan Bogdanovich. And I think <laughs> Dylan Brooks is the props, and Bog Bogdanovich is the ops. Jay Reese, what are you? Where are you laying on that? Oh uh, man, I'm in agreement with you. That's the first thing I thought about. Man, let the light skins ride, man. Man, I got let Dylan them Brooks ride, man. Dylan Brooks is the props in this one, baby. Yeah, I'm excited to see you be so excited over a bet like that. However, you look like kerfuffled when I like smooth ass skipped over a game on the schedule. Yeah, you ran with it because that's the biz we're in is show biz. And I want to take it into the game that's going to happen a little bit earlier as far as time wise goes. So let's go back to the future. We got Atlanta visiting Madison Square Garden taking on the New York Knicks. No courtside Karen. Trey Young is balling and we gonna get it popping. But I really wanna know what is Vegas saying, Jay Reese? They got this sitting at a series price minus thirteen hundos for Atlanta. Plus three hundred for NY. Mm. Uh mm. Minus one and a half for NY on the game tomorrow. If you guys could just bear with me here and give me a moment to go on a little rant. They got go this ahead. man. Hold on, let me go to let me go to full screen for you. Here you go. Go ahead, take it over. They got this man Spike Lee up in there like he the mayor, man. This shit is really pissing me off, man. Maybe they need to watch some of his movies. Julius Randles and do the right thing, nigga. <laughs> Wake the fuck up. This nigga sitting out here looking like Samuel L. Jackson in Jungle Fever. Mm. Oh, where's the TV, baby? Mama, oh, mama, I smoke the TV. You know, <laughs> what the hell? Okay. These, niggas, these niggas really suck out here, man. They're giving me the blues. I'm going to need some more better blues from these niggas, man. New York better win tomorrow. Man, I'm done. man, I hear what you're saying. And I'm going to let you digress, I'm let you man. Digress, Cody, man. Cody, I'm so hyped off I'm of so what hyped. he said. Let's go ahead and push it into what you might have to say. Wow. Wow. You got to follow that. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I have a minus one and a half. And <laughs> I just got to take a time out to pause. I hate, I hate him. But um, with that being said, I do think in in this case, New York has a chance of getting it done. I mean, but Atlanta, if they get hot, they are streaky. Um, they're, they're, they're very streaky um, and dangerous. I, I, but I picked New York to win at home, at least this one. But they're going to lose the series. Yeah. Man, if you can make it in New York, you can make it in anywhere. Contra concrete jungles where kings are made from that's something we came from and that's somewhere in new york man like i think that new york is gonna handle business i had them advance to the eastern conference final i no longer have them advance to the eastern conference final because (laughs) atlanta hawks they're the better team but i do see them playing the little ma role 
you know, all elbows up in it. I do <laughs> see him going like Lil Ma on him, and I think I'm gonna have to ride with the New York Knicks tomorrow, even with the point spread. Jay Reeves, what are you saying about the game? Man, <laughs> New York better get their fucking mind right now. It's 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 time. This this may be the last time that we can bet on them, so I'm about to just toss the money and it could possibly be to the win. But I do got a props versus ours for you, man. The boy Trey Young is a whole lot of star power here versus Julius Randle. He's not Randles anymore. He's not. He's just he's just Julius Rand. He could be just Julius Rand the fuck off. The ran court. off with all your money. That's what he did. He ran <laughs> off with all your money. You got Julius Randle taking off. Who? So Trey Young. So they got Trey Young sitting at 38 and a half, and they have Julius Randle sitting at 39 and a half. Points plus assists plus rebounds. Man, even though I think the Knicks are about to win, Julius Randle has been real disappointing. There's no way I can trust him in this situation. That nigga is definitely the ops. I'm going to call him the ops, too. I want to say, Alexa, play (laughs) Raspberry Beret. We going with the light skin motion today, and we going to get this kid popping, man. Raspberry Beret. Hey, Trey Young is going to be the props, and Julius Randle is the ops. Uh, Silly C, what do you say? Man, I say that uh, with this, I have Julius for 21, 10, and 5, and Trey for 21, 4, and 8. I think, I don't know what's wrong with those projections. The way uh, Randall's, or Randall now, has been playing. Um, I definitely think he's the opposite. Chris Trey Young's going to be the props, and Atlanta's probably going to win the series very quick right after this game. If they lose it. Raspberry Beret. Hey! We probably violating all types of copyright laws, but we yeah. just gonna keep it pushing, man. Raspberry Beret. I'm gonna lean with Trey Young. So is Jay Reese, as well as Silly C. Even after the numbers back it, we're gonna push it in. Damn, light skin win again. Oh, you damn light skin. <laughs> <laughs> damn, you, you light skin. <laughs> <laughs> Take it over the culture. Well, we'll see if we can keep it pushing, man. We got LA Clippers, man, who all of a sudden have changed up on us, man. Speaking about acting different right now, let's talk about the Gemini season that is the LA Clippers, man. And they acting real different. They went from losing two games in LA to winning two games in Dallas. Which is the LA Clippers we should be banking on coming back home to the Staples Centers? Jay Rees, what is Vegas saying? Uh, so we have this currently sitting at a series price of plus 240 for Dallas, minus 345 for the Clippers. In this game, they got it sitting at minus seven. The momentum has shifted. And I told y'all at the, on the last episode, if the Clippers won the game, they would rank. You the don't like Luca. Like, when have you ever said, oh, Luca about to do better like, next time? His, he hurt his neck. Go ahead. Said, keep going with your bullshit. You about to I said, I said in the last show that the Clippers would right the ship, All would Mama's be forgotten. Cooking. <laughs> <laughs> all would be forgotten if they won those two games in Dallas. Now things are clicking. And um, it also looks like Luca's neck is clicking a little bit too because that boy don't look right mm. i got the clippers minus seven in this oh silly c what are the numbers telling you clippers minus seven such jay Reeves, what are the numbers saying i have it minus seven as well and i don't know the clippers have really come back and kind of brought this series back into question dallas is hobbling or should i say necking <laughs> uh, because yeah, uh, Don Don Chis is hurting, and when he's hurting, they don't have any type of a team. And poor Zingas, he is he's a bum. Trash. I think, yeah, I think he's a bum. So they really need to try to look in the off season to get Don Chis some help. But right now, I think they're probably in trouble going back to Staples Center. I got Clippers minus seven. 
I'm just gonna black out my camera, man. You can't spell Luca without LA. Oh, Luca about to arise from the dust, baby. He about to be <laughs> put in that neck. He's alive. And he's alive, man. Hey, that boy Luca on Staple Tap. Table Center, man. Do you know why? Because he's Hollywood, man. He's Tinseltown. He is star quality. He's Jack Nicholas. He is L.A. You can't spell Luca without L.A. And I think he's about to beat down the Clippers tomorrow, man. I got the Clippers getting clipped. Oh! With... Matt said, I'll drink his bath water. <laughs> <laughs> I never once said that. I ain't even thirsty. <laughs> Hey man, I got one thing. To, I got one thing to say as he, as he starts. Playing. I got one thing to say. Porzingis may be uh, injured by the time this series is over with. That's that's just what he did. <laughs> Luca about to go down the lane like Franken Luca, man. He about to bless them, man. And I see Luca have another big game. Conga line all the way to the basket, man. Uh, uh, until PG and Kawhi. Show me they can start, stop Frankenstein in the lane, then I will believe in them. But I'm going to take Luca in that game. Jay Reese, you got a, a props or an ops in that one? Oh, man, you know I do. It's your boy. I know you do. It's your boy, Luca the Don versus Kawhi the Claw Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> they got uh, Luca sitting at uh, 45 and a half and Kawhi sitting at 43 and a half. Uh, points plus assists plus rebounds. Matt, I already know which way you lean in, so I'm gonna skip right over you. I'm yeah, going with no, Kawhi. I'm gonna tell you, I'm leaning with Kawhi. Psych. <laughs> Luca! <laughs> that's my that's my take, Cody. Now it's your take. Now you go. Now I go. Now you go. All right, so. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Lucas Stein. 27 8 from Luca, which I'm, I think that's a little low, especially with this game. Knowing that he'll need it, and he's the only team they got because Porzingis, again, is a bump. Uh, but then Kawhi is 24 7 and 4. I think Kawhi gets a little more than that points wise. Rebound says about that but I still think in this case they're going to need all Doncic to even have a chance hurt neck and all I picked Doncic as the props man man Doncic he got him going who you got Jay Reese I got Kawhi Kawhi and look at the eyes to me. He will always be the eyes. <laughs> and that's what's wrong with you, man. You be hating on Luca, man, and that's why you ain't ever winning, man. <laughs> hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Can we can we bring up something? Can we clean a few things up? I noticed we haven't talked about our playoff brackets ever since yours got busted. Oh, man, what's up with that? Alive, it's alive. <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> you know what's not alive? Your playoff bracket. All right, I don't know. As far as my playoff bracket goes, I need a remake. Can... <laughs> I think he said, "Don't you know I joke with you?" I had to clear that shit. Nah, I mean, as far as my playoff go, I didn't go well. It didn't go well, but I've been killing y'all niggas. And let's not talk about the last show where I talked about the spider. Go ahead and climb inside you. And he, he smashed them. And then I also said that not only would Brooklyn Nets smash, but Kyrie would most likely be super offended. And what happened, Jay Reese? Go ahead and detail that. I've been Vostradamus out here. You don't want to talk about where I've been right. So you want to talk about where I've been wrong. I, I, I gamble we're just, wrong. We're just not bringing it up anymore. So anyways, oh. if we go back to it, Cody and I both had the Lakers in Brooklyn in the finals. Cody, who did you have winning the whole thing? I have Brooklyn winning the whole thing. Yep. And, and so do I. Yeah. Way to go on a limb. Yeah, way to go on a limb. 
go well, look with at Rod that. Like, like, I'm not the Boston. end of the podcast. I went with the odds on favorite. Look at the Bucks, bro. Wait till the, they got to stare down the, the, the barrel of the Bucks, man. And I think they're going to get rah. I think it's going to be one different. Of those and we got people. a lot of shows to speculate on this. Yes, if, one of those, if one of those Lakers fall, they're done. And you see, they do not. I don't think they have enough. We're going to even see what they do tonight because I don't think they'll have enough for Phoenix. Even if even if my Nuggets get the Lakers, and we will advance past the Portland, and this is late on Tuesday. What's the score on that game? 105, I don't know. Let me check it. 105, 105, man. It's coming down uh, to you the You guys want to know the uh, Lakers score? They're probably getting uh, smashed right now. They're getting smashed. Yeah, by 26. It's 36 to 62. Oh, my God. (laughs) All right. Well, whatever, man. So, hey, you win some, you lose some. But that's going against each other. And when it's you against the sports book. I wasn't even going to say it. The bucket list got your back. (laughs) Baby, let go. Are you going to give me 